Okay, hey. Okay, so it's Naked Sunday time, and I'm listening to some tank right now. If you ever need um, any type of music to get you in the mood, if you're masturbating, if you're spending some time with your partner, trust me, this is the guy right here. His Now or Never album. Yes. Yes, and believe it or not, my boyfriend is a huge Tank fan and he made me listen to the album and I'm telling you, I am so obsessed with him right now. It's like Tank, not the boyfriend, whatever. <laughs> like, yeah, but this that's not the reason why I'm making this video. It's not about Tank, it's not about the boyfriend. It's a, I was gonna do, because I still don't know what it's about. I was gonna do, um, G-spot stimulation in women. We already discussed men briefly. Um, and in men, we all know it's in the anus, the rectum. Um, yeah, in women, it's in the vagina, duh, obviously. We all know that part. Um, it is 1.5 inches deep in the vagina. And if she's laying on her back, it's on the upper side, duh, which you should already know. It's a different texture from the rest of the vaginas you probably did not know. It's more rigid. And when it stimulates it, it feels spongy. And I think that's all you need to know because you, like, everybody knows that when it stimulates it, it feels really good, blah, 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 which is about the climax, da, 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 da. Um, so I really don't know what to make this video about. So, what do you guys want to talk about? You guys want to talk about next Sunday, next Sunday, next Sunday. Okay, hey, okay. So, I know I said I didn't know what to talk about earlier. Well, before, whatever. Anyways, um, so we're going to talk about friends with benefits. Does it work? Can it work? Has it ever worked in history? Does it can it work in real life? Is it this is actually a topic I got from a group I was in. I'm still in actually, whatever. And we're talking about it. And I'm like, it can work. Has worked for me in the past. Um, it is very easy to catch feelings. Just don't kiss the person. I think once you kiss the person, that's when everything goes. Oh my gosh, I'm in love. He's my man. He's nobody else's man. Whatever, whatever, and vice versa. I know I shouldn't be drinking in the while doing a video. I know I'm still not drinking alcohol. I'm still waiting until August. I'm still holding until August. Um, but yeah, I'm thirsty. Fuck you. Um, yeah. So, what's that song about? What was I talking about? No, seriously, what was I talking about? You see, I, I literally have, like, I, oh my goodness, what was I talking about? You know what? Scrap this whole thing. Okay, no, I'm back. Okay, friends with benefits. <laughs> can it work? Yes, it can work. Once there are two people with the same understanding that, hey, we're friends, I'm physically attracted to you, you're physically attracted to me. I just want to have sex, you just want to have sex, let's just have sex. Um, the most common reason, or probably the only reason why it never works out, no, I'm going to say the most common reason why it never works out is because people catch feelings. And I personally think it's because they start kissing. Kissing is, is some, my mom told me way back in the day that she would prefer or and i'm not gonna say she would prefer but it's that kissing right that's what she said kissing is more intimate than sex kissing has a lot more emotion and feeling behind it and which at first i thought was stupid because at that time i was in high school and i was you know i had my little boyfriend and we were making out and whatever whatever and i didn't think anything of it until getting older i realized you know what she was right when you're just having sex with someone and you don't kiss, there is no, oh my gosh, I love him, he's so da 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 No, there's none of that. It's just sex, you have your fun, and you move on. 
as soon as kissing comes into play, the automatic, okay, are we together, comes into play. For I don't know why, but that's just how it is. I guess like she said, it's a lot more emotional, a lot more emotions are attached behind it. Um, yeah, and that's that. The other reason why is obviously the person, you're not in a relationship other than the friends and benefit thing. So you are still open to see other people, date other people. If you're not the type to give up the on the first date, a friends with benefit relationship will come in handy for you because while you're dating this other person and you don't want to sleep with this other person, you want to get to know them better. You can always, after coming home and feeling hella horny, call up your friend with benefit, get that feeling out of the way, and then continue with your actual relationship that you're trying to build. Um, yeah, and I guess once that relationship builds, then you cut off your friend with benefit because then your partner will be like, what the hell? Yeah. What else is there to say about friends with benefits? I think that's really it. Catching feelings, I think it's mainly through kissing. Once you kiss, that's it. You're doomed. You're hooked. You're... I've realized that I have more male viewers than female viewers, but still, this message needs to get out there. Yes, there is no greater feeling than getting a clean bill of health from your gynecologist. So ladies, make sure that you are doing your getting your pap smears done yearly, once a year. Make sure that you're being tested or you have been tested for HIV, gonorrhea, syphilis, chlamydia, etc, etc. Also, um, you know what? This is not just going to be vaginal health. It's going to be vaginal health and STDs in general. Men. I did a blog post recently about HPV. HPV is commonly found in women. Cancer of the uterus. A set name? Vagina cancer? I don't know. Anyways. <laughs> HPV is no killing or men. HPV is found in the throat, throat cancer. And men, when it comes to STDs, a lot of you are carriers but not showers or something like that, where you don't have the symptoms but the disease is there. You still need to get tested, you still need to get checked out. You still do. Where a woman will have a certain discharge or a certain odor or a certain um, burning sensation, itching or something like that. So as some kind of warning sign, say, hey, you need to get yourself checked out. Men, you don't have that. The most you have is burning while urinating and that's it. And then you're like, okay, I probably have something. But that's about it. And that doesn't happen to all you guys out there. So, get yourself checked out, get yourself looked at. It's a serious case. Um, okay, so back to the vaginal health. Ladies, if you have a certain odor, and let's say you've been to the doctor, the doctor checks you out, there's nothing wrong with you. Having discharge is, is normal, it's natural, it happens. That's your vagina cleaning itself pretty much as a whole look at it your vagina is cleaning itself it's getting out all the toxins i don't believe in using um scented linos because that's just perfumey and pushes stuff up in yeah no i don't believe in vaginal douching nor anal douching um because with vaginal douching all you're doing is pushing up all the bacteria back into your Vagina, which makes no sense to me at all. Why would you want to do that to yourself? The vagina cleans itself automatically. It does it every single day. The most you need is some Dettol. I have the Dettol soap. Use the Dettol soap. It doesn't come with the, the, the harsh smell that the Dettol liquid has. Um, yeah. So get yourself a bar of Dettol soap. It's like $2, I think. I don't know, $19, I don't know, whatever. Get yourself a bar of Dettol soap. Wash your vagina. That's it. If you have a stronger odor, 
um, do not do, don't put any perfume. What's it called? Um, Summer's Eve. Don't use no um, hygiene wash, hygiene cleanse, vagi cleanse, vagi none of that vagina foolishness. Get yourself some plain yogurt, rub it all up in there. It will kill all the cultures or whatever. Whatever it does, it does its job. It washes out. That's it. That's the only thing I'd recommend. That and some Dettol. And you're good. Dettol is an antiseptic. It will cleanse the area. Um, I believe you can use it on cuts and, and such too, just like with tea tree oil. Um, yeah. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. Vaginal, vaginal health. Use a loofah, scrub really good. Um, use your fingers, get in there really well, scrub really well. If you wear tampons, I don't recommend wearing tampons too frequently. I, I, I love tampons. They're you know awesome for days when you're wearing tights and you don't want to you don't want to have panty line, you want to wear your thong regularly. You put on a tampon, you put on your panty line on, you put on your thong, you're off to go. But it's not I wouldn't I don't I don't recommend wearing it five days out of five for your period. When you're on your period. No. Um yeah. That's it. After your period, give yourself like a day or two before you have sex again. Like give your vagina a break to breathe. Um speaking of breathing, it's okay to go command you. Okay, it's not nasty. Your vagina needs air. Let it breathe. Okay? It's okay. You won't die. It's okay. Just know that if you're going commando, don't wear jeans. If you're wearing jeans, throw them in the laundry at the same time. Jeans, yes, we know you don't have to. If you wear it one time, you wash it the same day. We know it. But if you're not going to wear underwear, just throw it in the wash. That simple. That's it. Um. What else is there? When it comes to grooming your vagina now, there are different styles, there are different techniques, there are different methods, blah, 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 blah. Um, shaving is the most popular one. A lot of us, our skin is very sensitive. Um, back. Um, where was I? Vaginal grooming. All right, for vaginal grooming, like I said, shaving is the most popular. Um, but our skin, a lot of us are sensitive and it will break out in bumps and stuff like that. If you still want to continue with shaving, make sure you're using a clean blade every single time. Um, yeah, change your blade every time you shave. Uh, make sure you're using a very good shaving cream. Um, make sure you're going in one direction and not multiple because that's what causes skin irritations and bumps stuff like that um, and there, there are also these products out there that men use on their face for bumps and stuff like this you can use that also on your bikini line or wherever you have breakouts don't you push it up in your well, someone doesn't understand so don't push it up in your vagina just put it you cotton ball on the area that has the bumps and that's it um, there's waxing most painful of them all but it does last the longest it is the cleanest it will guaranteed to make sure you're smooth clean no bumps no irritations nothing like that a, a little soreness a little sorrowness can't have sex around the first day or so so what right okay and then there are the chemicals that you can use, like the Nair, there's beets, whatever. Slap that on there and wait a couple minutes, wipe it off. That is my favorite, the chemical hair removal. But when you have a fat vagina and you try to get all the hair off, that shit is not fun. Because with a fat vagina, it's folded like so. And there's here all in here, so you can't put a cream all in here, so because we'll burn you. Yes, not fun at all. Um, 
but yeah i think that's it <laughs> men yeah. make sure that you are trimming your balls make sure that because if you, you love to get your socks and your socks and your whatever socks make sure that all that is clean you see how you want us to be here free and clean and trimmed and whatever make sure that you're here free and trimmed and clean and whatever okay. else okay um yeah yeah we're doing you a favor suck in your balls do us a favor and keep them clean please thank you <laughs> um my child is 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 <laughs> getting restless now so I'm going to go. Um, yeah, I'll see you in a few.